morning. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classic Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how-to style, and now, natural hair care. So if you are into any of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell. That way, you will never miss a video. So today, I am so excited. I always love to bring to you guys fashion trends, what's going to be trending for fall and winter, what's going to be trending for spring and summer. And these are actually pretty basic they're pretty reasonable and you actually should have some of these already in your closet okay i do have 10 for you so let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing or trend number one that i kind of want to go over are colors fall colors the colors that i'm going to be in that you're going to be seeing a lot of and you know your darker hues your blacks your browns your beiges your orange your deep reds your browns those are synonymous with fall, but this 2022 and 2023 fall and winter season, you're going to see a little bit of a shift when it comes to colors. I want to bring two colors to your attention. The first one is a lilac. If you have watched any of my videos, especially if you watch my hair talk, you will see that I have a lilac bodycon dress and I also have a lilac head wrap. You are going to start seeing more of your pastel colors, even though we are going into fall and winter. And I absolutely love that, okay? Just because it's fall and winter doesn't mean that you can't have pretty pastel colors in your closet. The next one is going to be mint green. If you have watched any of my videos before, you will know what example I'm getting ready to show you. It is this dress right here by the Queen Collection. I love this so much that I actually got it in beige, but I love this dress. If someone, like I've said before, were to ask me, what is your style? Show me one piece in your closet. This would be it right here. It's sexy, it's sultry, it's classic. It wraps me up all in one, okay? But if you go on Fendi's website, you will see a whole bunch of mint green. I believe right now, if you go on Mango, you will also see green, but you will also see is they have like this whole montage of like this very beautiful, deep, pink color okay it's not neon pink it's kind of like a magenta but then it's kind of like muted down it's still very bright and i think that they are starting to actually refer to this as barbie core now but it's just going to be really beautiful colors even though we are going into the cold months you're going to start seeing a lot of pastel colors number two is going to be corsetry or corsets now, I don't have an issue with this trend as long as it is done properly, okay? I don't want to see someone wearing their Victoria's Secrets or what's the other one, um, Perla. I don't want to see someone wearing their actual like lingerie corset out and about, okay? And this corset has actually been around for a couple of seasons. I have seen some that I like. I saw one on Zara. Of course, when I went to go back to buy it, it was sold out. So I put my notification in and if it comes back, I will probably buy it. It was this really beautiful tan color. And the way that I envision this is me actually Actually putting it over a baby doll dress just to kind of cinch in the waist and kind of give a classy but edgy look okay you're going to start seeing all and you should already because like I said they was they were very popular in the summer and they're going to be brung right into the fall okay but you're going to start seeing them in very different renditions you're going to have the ones I had the classic where it's kind of like the sweetheart neckline, you're going to see the ones that are straight. What you're also going to start seeing is some very different silhouettes at the bottom. We all know that the average corset or the most common corset is just kind of like straight. You're going to kind of see like, I know Dion Lee has been doing this very well. You're going to start seeing kind of like some circular ones, okay? But corsetry, it is going to be very in. It's going to be, you know, with dresses, without dresses, it's going to be a corset on its own. You probably will see a lot of people maybe putting it on with a turtleneck and then putting the corset on right on top of that. It's going to be done in a lot of different ways. And of course, it's going to be done in a lot of different colors and textures. Number three, and this is something that, I mean, it's, it's going to be very prevalent for this fall and winter, but this is kind of something that never leaves but then sometimes when it comes to different designers or when it comes to different seasons or when it comes to different years, they put an emphasis on it, okay? And this is going to be knitwear. I live in a knit midi length dress, skirt, whatever, what, what have you, turtleneck, what have you. It's going to be knitwear. And it's not just going to be, you're, of course you're going to have your regular knitwear, but you're also going to have your elevated and your statement knitwear. So if you have been watching my channel, I would probably say since last year, 
I had been stalking a particular or a particular sweater dress from Ula Johnson. I think this was like originally, I saw it on Farfetch for about 2,500. I think on Moda Operandi, it was on there for like 1250 to 1750. Here she is in all of her glory. I paid $542 for this sweater dress. When I tell you the elation, if that is even a word, the elation that when I got on Moda Operandi and I saw that this was back in stock, I don't know if someone returned this and I don't care. I got it tailored, I got it taken in. If you don't know, this was a tunic and it had one of those ridiculously high splits. So I had my tailor take it in and then I had her close the slit. But this is a statement if, if you were to look it up in the dictionary, okay? This is a statement elevated knitwear, okay? For me personally, it is over the top, but I love that. That is a statement piece. It's something that will stay in my closet forever. But also what you have, and I think at this point, this is quite old, but what you're also going to have with knits, and y'all know that I love sets, whether it's for warmer or cooler months, is this set from Zara. And it looks just like this right here. Of course, you're going to have my ever favorite, the puff sleeves right here. You have the tie, and then it's actually quite thick, very, very thick. And then you just have the skirt. This is midi length, and it's actually a little bit longer on me because I am very short. But this is a gorgeous color. It's not scratchy. I can wear it with different things. I can separate them. I can wear them as separates. I can wear them as an entire outfit. But sets in knitwear are going to be very in for the fall and winter season, okay? Trend number five, and just kind of like the trend that I just said, I wasn't really aware of the fact that these were out of style, but now they are coming back with a vengeance. So it is going to be to the knee boots and thigh boots. I do have my example right here. Again, if you have been watching my channel, you would have seen these boots before. They are the Colt Guy. I believe they are the Jasmine or Jasmine boots. I bought them because of the heel and they are thigh highs. They do go all the way up for me, especially because I'm short, but I bought them because of this heel. How gorgeous is this heel? It's so gorgeous and it is so different. Every single time I wear these boots, I always get asked the question and it's a conversation starter. These are gold, so it is gold right here. And then I believe Saks actually had them in silver as well. So typically when you think of like a riding boot or when you think of just like your average black boot or brown boot it typically doesn't come that close to your knee simply because of when you're walking you need that mobility but now you're going to start seeing right at the knee and a little bit above the knee of course they're going to be coming in all of your regular colors they're also going to be coming in textures and they're probably more than likely going to be coming in the two colors that i mentioned which is going to be the mint green and the lilac okay so you either have thigh highs or you have to the knee boots or just kind of like regular boots in your closet. A lot of these you really don't need to go out and buy. These are basics that are in your closet or that should be in your closet, okay? But it's going to be to the knee boots and there's also going to be thigh highs. Number six is going to be skirt suits and bold suits. And what I mean by bold suits is the colors again. Uh, even though we are going into fall, you're still going to start seeing, of course, that mint green suit. You're going to see a lilac suit, but you're also going to see like these bright pink suits. You heard me mention earlier Barbie core. It's like this color. I think that Valentino is getting ready to coin. Is getting ready to coin. And then when you have your mini skirt suits, just like that, Think about your plaids, your ginghams, your tweeds, kind of Chanel-esque. And also it's going to be, you know, shoulders, bold statements. It's going to come in patterns and prints. It's, you know, a suit is pretty classic, but this time when you're looking at your suits, it's going to be color and it's going to be print. Number seven, which I am absolutely so excited for, and I actually mentioned this in my video of 13 ways of how to always be stylish. I will link that down below. But no, this one is going to be statement coats. This is number seven. And like I mentioned before, this I would probably say at the moment is my most statementy coat. People keep referring to this coat as my Olivia Pope coat. I absolutely love this. It is from BCVG Max Azria. I would probably say at this point it is I would say a good five years old and it has stood the test of time. It looks current every single time that I wear it. It is a statement coat, but it is also a very classic silhouette, okay? 
But when we're talking about statement, which for some people, statement means different things, right? A statement coat could be a whole feather coat. It could be a whole teddy coat. It could be embellishments. It could also be a very bold color. You could have different types of buttons. You could have a crazy hem. You could have a high-low hem. Anything that is not basic that you think is going to be a conversation starter or anything that you're not going to see everybody wearing is the type of coat that you should be looking for. So hopefully what that means is that since statement coats are in, hopefully Balenciaga this year will make their hourglass coat in camel color. If they do, it'll be going in my cart with no questions asked, okay? But right now, statement coats are in. And like I said before in my video on how to always be stylish, you could have on the world's most basic outfit. And if you put on a statement coat, not only have you up your outfit, but you have pulled your look together. Okay, the next one or the next trend is going to be elevated basics. And that's exactly what it sounds like. Your elevated basics, your black boots, your jeans, your white tank tops, which are very popular right now, and your white button up. So my example, of course, is from J. Crew. You have your classic button up, but then it has the puff sleeves. And sadly for me, puff sleeves did not make this year's cuts as trends, but it's fine. They will be in my closet for a very long time. But just very elevated quality basics. Now, if you are into fashion, you would have seen that Loewe came out with a very basic quality, of course, white tank top. I'm not sure how much that one is, but I was on the Prado website the other day, and it's just a very white tee, or a very basic white tank top, and it has the Prado logo right here. That tank top, the last time that I checked, was $995. I by no means am telling you to go out and buy the Loewe or the Prada tank top. What I'm saying is that that is a trend now. So if that's what you love wearing, by all means, throw that on, throw it on with a pair of jeans, and then maybe throw it on with like a leather jacket and then some boots, your thigh high boots, and you'll be ready to go. But just very elevated basics, quality. And when I say quality, I'm not talking about Prada, I'm not talking about Loewe. You have Club Monaco. You have Banana Republic, you have, um, what is it, Ted Baker. There are so many different companies that you can buy a white tank top from, and chances are you already have one, okay? Which is going to segue us into the next trend. My ladies who love pants, my ladies who love jeans, you no longer have to stuff yourself in these skinny jeans, okay? It is going to be a relaxed fit for fall and winter. Mason Margiela, again, if you are into fashion, has come out with these slit jeans and they are also relaxed. All the fashion girls are wearing them. I looked them up and I think they're about $6.95, which for me is completely ridiculous for a pair of jeans. Of course, at this point, Zara, Shein, Amazon, and Zaful have, and H&M have probably made dupes, but if you want, the luxury ones go right ahead. I have seen these styled in so many different and beautiful ways. And again, you can start incorporating all of these trends into your closet. For example, I have seen a lot of the women or a lot of the fashion girls wearing these Mason Margiela jeans, which fits under the relaxed jeans. And then they have on a corset. They take like a top handle bag, they pull their hair back, and then they just have on, I believe, like probably like a Bottega Lidl meal, or they're even starting to wear it with pointy toe shoes, okay? So we are no longer, or you guys are no longer going to be stuffing yourselves in skinny jeans. It's going to be more of a relaxed fit and also low rise as well. I particularly don't like low rise. I don't wear pants, but what I'm saying is that when I see someone in um, a high waisted pant or even a high waisted jean, it looks more put together. It looks, it looks chicer to me. Okay. Number nine is going to be leather. And of course leather comes and goes, but we're really going to be focusing on separates when it comes to the leather. Of course you have your dresses, you have your boots and you have your shoes, but it's going to be leather everything. You have leather jackets, you have leather tops, you have leather shirts, you even have leather corsets. It's basically going to be leather on leather. And also what you will see, it's not just going to be like your typical leathers. It's not just going to be burgundy and tan and black. It's going to start getting into those colors. You might even see a mint green leather set. You might even see a lilac leather set, okay? Now, of course, you're going to have your vegan leather. I think they have vegan leather. They also have vegetable leather, but it's just going to be really luxe leathers in your basic colors and also in some trending colors. And lastly, we are going to be reintroducing the ballet flat. 
Again, if you are really into fashion, you would have seen the Miu Miu Ballet Flat. For me personally, especially for someone who has been classically trained in ballet dance, if you literally take just a sole and put it on the bottom of a of a ballet flat, that is what the Miu Miu flat is. For. That is that is exactly what the Miu Miu flat is. Me personally, when it comes to a ballet flat, I tend to like um, not round toe, but almond toe and pointy toe because it elongates the leg. For me, ballet flats tend to, when they are round, they tend to kind of make people look shorter, okay? So of course, whenever you talk about a classic ballet flat, it's always going to be synonymous with Chanel, which they always have theirs. But Miu Miu has brought it back in several different colors, and I believe in a lot of them, they have actually started to sell out, okay? But ballet flats, we're going to kind of put away the dad sandals, and we are going to reintroduce the ballet flat, okay? So... Those are all the trends that I have for you today, the top 10 trends of fall. Let me know what trends you will be following. Let me know what you already have in your closet. I just wanna remind you that here on YouTube, I do up videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And of course, right here, I'll put my Instagram handle. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Bye.